Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso with Integral here to share another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Links are important concerning the internet. The internet wouldn't exist without links, but unfortunately sometimes hackers will take advantage of the links that you receive in email or even when you visit different websites. So in this tech tip, I'll explain four questions that you need to ask yourself before you even consider clicking on links to a website. I'm going to show you what you sh should think about and how you should proceed with caution when looking at links and emails and websites. Uh, let's take a look and let's get you educated on how to keep yourself safe from those nasty hackers out there. One of the first questions that you have to ask yourself before you click on a link that appears in an email or on a website is, where did the link come from? Um, so was it a, in an unsolicited message in an email? Is it on the website that you're visiting? A lot of people don't realize that hackers will use uh, links in websites in order to lure people into clicking on something that they shouldn't click on. Uh, sometimes uh, you'll get an email that looks like it came from Amazon, but in reality it's from a hacker that's trying to get your important information. So the other thing that you have to take in consideration too is that if you get a email from one of your friends and the link looks goofy, should you click on it? Uh, what is happening now with a lot of uh, people is that um, uh, hackers will send out emails or they will hack your friend's emails and then they'll send out web links in order to entice you in clicking on the link and then in doing so you'll infect your computer with a virus or ransomware which is even worse. So just think about where did that link come from before you actually click on it. What should you look at next? The thing we should look at is number two why are you clicking on that link? Uh, is it because you think that you're going to win a million dollars? Uh, is it because you think that you're going to get to see some nude girls on the internet? Um, it's kind of a philosophical question, but you really need to think, why are you clicking on the link? Uh, is it fear-based, thinking that if you click the link, it's going to solve a problem? So you really need to think about... Um, why you are clicking on the link. The reason being is because hackers socially engineer viruses and emails in order to encourage you to click on specific links. So you really have to stop and think clicking on that link before you actually do it because something bad could definitely happen. So take a minute and stop and think before you actually click on that link. What do we need to do next? We need to consider is does the link look right? Um, if you get a link from a legitimate website, such as Amazon or even from us good folks at Integral, um, it's going to have the full domain name. So, for example, if it came from Amazon, it would be Amazon.com. Um, if we sent you something at Integral, it's going to be IntegralComputerConsultants.com. Uh, so you definitely want to take a look at the link and make sure that it's coming from a legitimate source. Um, if it's an email from a friend, uh, you would probably want to contact your friend via email or a nice phone call and ask this link uh, because uh, you want to make sure that it's from a legitimate source. Now, sometimes links coming from Facebook uh, or Twitter, if you're looking at a Twitter feed, or shortened uh, in order to save space for posting on the social media site. Uh, so those... Um, you also also want to be cautious and make sure that the link that you're clicking on is legitimate. Next, finally, the last thing is what's on the other side of the link. Um, if you're not sure, it's better to be safe than sorry. Um, if it's information that you're trying to retrieve from a specific website, let's say that you got an email from the IRS and there's a lot of IRS scams going there. Go ahead and visit irs.gov, uh, not com. Consider, consider that IRS is a government website. So you want to go to .gov as opposed to .com. But if you have any questions on anything that is um, on a website, 
you definitely want to go visit the website and um, make sure that you're going first as opposed to clicking on a link that'll actually be malicious. So um, take that in consideration. What's on the other side? Uh, is it something that you really need to be looking at or is it something that you need to get at? And in this day and age, it's probably better that you visit the source um, of the link, meaning you go open up your web browser and you click on the go visit the website and and see find your information there as opposed to taking a shortcut and clicking a link. So four things that you need to consider before you click on links on the Internet. Uh, hackers are definitely taking advantage of web links. So you want to do the things that are going to keep you safe. Uh, from getting viruses and ransomware on your computers and your technology devices. So uh, if you have comments or questions about this tech tip, uh, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, you, you can check out more great tech tip videos like this on YouTube at our website at Integral Onsite and Online Tech Support. It's on the web too. Uh, there's our fancy little website uh, at IntegralComputerConsultants.com. Great thing about it. Yes, we can fix that if you've got uh, computer-related issues. Uh, you can also give us a call. We can remote in and fix your computers, or we can come out to you if you're in the metropolitan Kansas City area and get your technology all fixed up. As you can see, we can fix just about anything. So give us a call. Um, social media, too. So check us out on uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. And as always, folks, take care of yourself and have and do many things to make you smile.